On this episode of The Sequence, I will show you how to track out and export your beats. The Sequence. What is going on people? So we are back at it again with another episode of The Sequence and I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's been tuning in for the MPC Beat Software by Akai. It's a free DAW. If you don't know, the link will be in the description box and it comes with a whole bunch of sounds and all that great stuff. But I wanna cover tracking out beats because people have asked me if you can track out your drums separately and yes, you can. And I'm gonna show you how and, and how you can track out your beats and how to export them just in case you didn't know. So let's go. So let me play the sample track right now. If you want to see that live stream, uh, it'll be at the top right of the screen right now. I highly recommend it if you want to see me making beats from start to finish in three different ways. I also did it with the MPC itself using the software so you can see the true potential. Uh, but anyways, the most important thing is going over here into song mode because I laid it down and make sure that you check out the playlist. I do have a song arrangement video just in case you're going to ask and it will show you how to lay out your beats and stuff like that. But you know, here it is right now. As you can see, I got the intro playing and I got all of this stuff organized. So the most important part is the top left part of the screen right here where you will click on that and you'll see file and then you'll see export and then many different options will follow like as project archive, as pattern, as MPC 1000 or 2500 sequence and many other options. You can also, if you're not in song mode, uh, export as an Ableton Live set, which is actually pretty dope if you have Ableton Live like I do. But most of you guys are probably here for this one right here, which is as audio mix down. So let's go ahead and check that out here. I'm gonna click on that and then you're met with this right here. Audio mix down where you have the option of picking the length so you can choose the start bar or end bar which could be useful for like I don't know if you have a sample part that you want to chop out or something like that uh, audio tail which audio tail is basically you know the track running from start to end and at the end of it it will leave a tail so if you have it at zero it won't leave it at a tail or anything like that and this is a per perfect option for like if you set up loops if you want to make like loop packs and stuff like that uh, you also have render source where you have stereo output and one means left, two means right. So basically a two track. So that's where the, the phrase two track comes from. So if you want to have a two track audio, basically just one file, then you would use that option. You can also uh, pick what which outs or a sub mix or something like that. We'll talk more about sub mixing in another video. Uh, you also, if you want to do separate programs, uh, you can do that. Uh, as well and you can also explode your tracks to us as well. So uh, What we're gonna do in this video is basically just have this set up for the two track uh, Rendering options you have master inserts and then you also have export return So master insert I do have a lo-fi effect on here So if you're wondering if you can have your master effect on your two track, absolutely so you have different file formats too as well. You have WAV, shout outs to Andy Mac, he always says that, or WAV file. And then you have AIFF, which is commonly used on Apple computers. And then you also have MP3. So from your WAV files, you also can choose a bit def of from eight to 32 bit float. So you can do that. I usually just stick with 32 bit float or 16, you know, just in case, but you know, it doesn't matter in the world of like streaming, you'll probably put a 32 bit floating file there. And you also can choose to sample rate. Most of the time, 44.1 kilohertz will do. That's pretty much red book CD format there, even though CDs don't exist anymore. And then you also have 48 kilohertz all the way up to 96 kilohertz. So if you pick a higher sample rate and a higher bit def, uh, the file size will be bigger but the quality will be better. So that's what that means for all the newcomers to beat making and exporting beats. Uh, you can also, from MP3, I wanna show you this right here. So the bit rate that I usually go with is 320 
and that's the best one because it's the highest quality, but the file will be bigger. And the sample rate I usually go with is 44.1 kilohertz because it's the most forgiving on anybody's computer. So that's why I picked that. Uh, you also have FLAC and OGG. Those are different formats, of course, but I just really stick to the script and just keep it simple. So going over here to the WAV file, and by the way, you can't use multiple formats at once, which kind of is like meh, but it might be a limitation of the MPCB software. So let's go ahead and do a stereo WAV file right now. Shout out to Andy, and we're gonna hit export. And what we're going to do is put it on our desktop. You can choose whatever destination that you want. If you go to the drop down menu, uh, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and do desktop here. All right, I have an instance of it on there. So it was, it's going to say overwriting. Um, and you can also put in a new folder or whatever too as well. So let's go ahead and save and then just click overwrite. And then you'll see it go through the process of going through the different bars here. Boom. And then it's done. So let's go ahead and listen to it right now. Mm hmm. Let's skip ahead a little bit. So my beat is there. It's good to go. I know it's good to go because of the way I laid it out in song mode. Again, I do have a tutorial on that. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, though, is if you noticed, Oh, at the top right part over here, uh, you'll see that I have it at negative 6.4 dB. I usually want to put it at negative 6, but, you know, it's a little difficult in here. But the reason why I do that is because I like to leave headroom for mastering. And I do all my mastering in a software called Ozone. And I will have a video on that, uh, how to master your beats from MPC Beats, just in case you want to do beat tapes and stuff like that. And you want to have that big, clean, nice full sounding beat uh, with no extra work. So let's actually go back into here and I'm gonna do another um, audio mix down. And this time I'm going to make a folder. I'm gonna choose separate programs and we're gonna see what will happen if I choose export. I'm gonna do a folder. I'm gonna call it Funk Tendo just for now because it's gonna be a test. And I'm gonna select do it. And what we're going to do is save everything in here. And we're going to see if it splits up the tracks. Boom. Now let's go ahead and see if it splits up the tracks. I want to see something about the MPCB software. So I'm in here right now. What I can do is just uh, click on it and it probably won't have everything playing at once. But if I was to do this. Yeah. So that's basically how you would split down your tracks. You see all your files right here. Uh, you can choose a format, of course, that works for you. And yeah, so it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to check out this track here. So maybe you don't want all your drums on one track. OK, so you can actually change that. Uh, what you will do is go to the top left part of the screen over here. You will go into edit and then you'll go into tracks and then you will select explode. So you can explode those tracks down. So it's as simple as that. You can explode your tracks and now you will see that the kick, the snare and the hi-hats are separate tracks now. And you can just get rid of your drums. You can just mute your drums all together. Just hit mute and it will be separate. Uh, what I don't know, and I'll probably just check that out now, if I go into like my main, let's see if the drums will still be exploded. So you will have to do this process for each individual sequence. So the best thing to do is before you lay out your whole entire beat in song mode is to explode the tracks after you decided on your drums. And therefore you can mute everything the way you want and then take whatever out that you want. Then you can export your beat so that you can get all your stems correctly. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. So I'll repeat that. So the best thing to do before you lay out your beat in song mode and, and before you export them is make sure that you explode the track after you made your drums the way you want them and then go into the process that I showed you as far as song arrangement. OK. All right. So tell me how you feel about this video. Hopefully it was very useful to you. And I really do appreciate the support that you guys have been showing me on these last couple of videos. Uh, this free DAW is really strong. I really like it. 
and it just keeps me in the workflow that I really like as far as the standalone MPC and yeah, I, I have plans on doing further videos in terms of other things that you might have questions on. So leave a comment below. Just let me know how you feel.